Hey guys, Carla Nicole. So, um, I'm not gonna be long. I just wanted to kind of chime in with you guys for a minute and just kind of talk about something that I think a lot of times as parents we don't really think about. So, I wanted to talk about this because you know, um, just coming on the uprise of being a parent um, of an adult child. Um, just the parenting style is completely different. <laughs> and I want to give um, a special thanks to my parents for giving me the, the um, forgiving love that they gave me on some of the decisions I made when I was, you know, um, coming into my own, becoming an adult um, and making decisions. Hey, John. So I wanted to talk about this real quick because I think sometimes as parents, we really don't sit down and think about some things, you know, um, our parenting style, once we have kids, mm -hmm. completely different than um, when they were babies, you know, and we were more or less telling them what they were going to do. I mean, as they become adults and older, we now make suggestions, right? We tell them uh, how we think they should do, um, what we strongly encourage, um, and things of that nature. But I just want to put it out here for parents that are coming on the uprise of being a parent to, to adult kids. Man, listen, you know, we can have... Um, strong suggestions we can have opinions we can have um foresight uh we can even use our own examples of our own mistakes and really have a set opinion on what road they should be taking as your child um and expectations and we can even to the point where we, we can be demanding or commanding of what we think our kids should be doing. So I just want to get, kind of give parents a, a different perspective. I think, you know, like when I was making decisions when I was young, um, I, I tell people all the time, if I was to, to lay out everything that I did as a kid, young person or young woman, you know, and, and try to lay it out and tell other kids to do it my way, I would strongly... <laughs> strongly tell them not to do that but um my life path was was that it was mine and so as a parent you know um i think it's very important that we understand that yes we can strongly suggest we can strongly oppose some of the decisions they make um we can strongly want to um demand them to do certain things but once they become an adult, man, that is their life. And that is very challenging as a parent because we may have certain um, things we want to see them do or certain paths we want to see them take or, or you know, we want to celebrate with them. Um, but a lot of times we don't realize that it's not about us. Everything that we've done from zero to 18 as a parent was to prepare them to become independent of us, was to prepare them to become an adult and make adult decisions. And so I want parents to, even if you're finding yourself really kind of, um, I don't know, the word frustrated maybe, um, really kind of... Um, <laughs> perplexed by some of the decisions they make and you're looking like why would you make that left when you know you should have made a right why did you do that you know and and then you sit back and you have to give thanks to the parents that raised you and it just takes you to a whole nother understanding of man you know when when dad would tell me this or mom would tell me that and I'd roll my eyes or I'd be frustrated because I didn't want to hear it or, you know, they would say stuff and I'd just be like, oh, well, they're just always nagging or whatever. And then you're sitting back and you're looking at your, your child growing into an adult. And you're like, oh, I see how, you know, we can get attached to the image of what we think or what we foresee them to be doing. I expect you to do this. I expect you to do that. And it really doesn't matter. 
it really doesn't matter. Even though we really have our own um, opinion or desire for our kids, we really don't realize that they're fine. They're the final say in their life. And so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. It doesn't change. It's just now that they are now the pilot to their plane. They are now the captain of their ship, of their life. And we have to kind of sit back and say, okay, what decisions you make is the decisions you make. The determinations, the, the, uh, you know, anything. I mean, your, your career choices, your, your love life or your whatever, you are the head of your life. And I think sometimes as parents, we hold on to our kids with a death grip and we really don't want to see them become independent. But I remember um, when my daughter was 16 and I remember saying, I'm going to treat you as an adult right now. Um, because as far as I'm concerned, once you go out on your own, I don't want you to feel like you can't make independent decisions without me. And so now, you know, she's pretty much, you know, she handles her stuff, takes care of her, her, her decisions and, and very, very on her, her bills and her, her, uh, progression in her life. And so I'm proud of that. But at the same time, you look at your child and you're like, but they're still, you know, I still see the, the little one, the, the child that I raised at, at, at a, as a baby in my arms. And now it's a young adult now before me. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, you're making you're making decisions now. So just just to give a holler to y'all parents, man, I know it's not easy to let the rain go or to let it to release yourself from the image of what you expect them to do. We have to learn as parents to detach. Okay. We got to detach from what we think we know and we have to allow them to evolve into who they will become. We can't assume that our image or our suggestions or what we're telling them is going to reign supreme in their life. Even if you're a, even if you were a very influential parent, it doesn't matter because over the years I've learned that I may not, in certain phases of my daughter's life, I may not have the loudest voice, if that makes sense. Sometimes my words can fade fade to almost silent, and someone else's voice could be louder. I just don't know. So I am always thankful, you know, that my daughter has other mentors besides me in her life. But I just want to let you guys know that not always are we going to have the loudest voice in their life. And not always are our suggestions going to be held to the highest level that we believe it should be. We believe, well, my voice should hold the most weight. Well, not always. Not always. Because even with my daughter being almost 20 years old, um, my, my voice isn't always the loudest she hears. So I have to sit back and say, okay, um... Sometimes I have to just kind of silence the opinion or silence my um, perspective or kind of back off wanting to say or wanting to demand certain things because it's her life. So I just want other parents to kind of get this because it's not easy as a parent to just be like, oh my God, how do I... How do I do this? How do nobody gave me a book? <laughs> I mean, nobody gave me a Bible on how to raise a child. Nobody gave me that. I did the best I could with what I had. But as you sit back and look, you're like, man, I didn't realize that, you know, I might not be the number one person that, that, that my adult child comes to when it comes to controversy, when it comes to problems, when it comes to issues, concerns. I may not be the person. So um, it's just important that we sit back and we pay attention to not always are we the loudest voice. But just remember as a parent, you did everything you could, especially those parents that did everything they could, extended everything they had, uh, did without for their child. Um, all of those things are beautiful and, and it's, 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 it's commendable because there's some parents that don't give a damn about their kids. But 
I just wanted to say, man, um, sometimes it is not easy as, as a parent of an adult child. It's just not easy. But it is the most gratifying job that, that anybody can ever um, do. But like I said, um, don't, don't beat yourself up too much, you know, because sometimes they're just not going to hear you. They're not going to take into account what you say. Um, because once they're grown, you know, well, mom is a little, you know, old fashioned or maybe, you know, out of style, you know, or whatever. So we got to just be honest with ourselves and say, sometimes I won't be heard. So let me just not say anything. Or sometimes we need to hold back in trying to control and become detached before they get out on their own. So if you, if this is for parents that got teenagers you know, if they're about 13, 14, start getting ready now. Get ready now because I'm telling you, uh, start treating them as an adult at 16. Start detaching from being all up in their life like that because there's going to become a point where mom and dad are not, are not as cool to come and talk to about life issues, life concerns, relationship problems. They're not going to want to come and talk to you about that. They're wanting, they're wanting, they're going to want to always have you um, see them in, in the best light. And, and even the person they're with, they're going to want to make sure that you see their person that they're with in the best light. So they may not tell you about problems or, or issues or arguments that they have with their mate because of the fact they don't want you to dim your light on the person they're with. So they want to keep the peace. So they, I ain't going to go and tell mom about this because she's going to feel some type of way. But just always know that, you know, other people may be the louder voice in your child's life. And that's fine. And even their, and maybe not even the voice, but their influence or how they're running their life or what they got going on may shed light on something in your child's eyesight that you may not have thought was going to be something that they're drawn to or excited about or, or see as a great thing to do. And you're like, I never exposed my child to this. Why are they so excited about that? And they will find, you will find yourself, oh, that influenced them to make a decision or to make choices that you would have never maybe exposed them to. Those are the kinds of things for parents or for the adult children we have to be mindful of. We're not always the only one that's going to influence our kid. We're not the only one that's going to be the one that's going to give our child the only advice, the only suggestions, the only one to, to lead them by example. There's other examples out here. So let's not get too overly exerted on the fact that we are, yes, we are someone that gives them the, you know, the highest example as far as when they're growing up. But once they become an adult, there's more influencers. There's other people out here that's going to be influencing your adult child. So we have to be mindful that hopefully they won't go too far left or too far right. But if they do, at least we know we gave the best we could. We did the best we could, but we got to detach. We can't be all up in our kids' headspace, all up in their business, always trying to tell them what they need to do and not do. Sometimes we got to bite our lip and say, okay, um, this is your call. This is your decision. This is what you want to do in your life. You are the pilot to this plane. So I'm going to just support you with whatever you decide to do, but understand you're the pilot. So now where I'm at as a parent is I support you. I love you. I always have your back, but I also understand that some of the decisions you're making, I may not agree with. I may totally disagree with, but that means that doesn't mean I love you any less. It just means I would have not necessarily taken that right. I might've took a left and said, love you though i mean <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to holler at y'all parents man with grown adult kids it's so it's so different for us it really is because the way we parent now is just suggestive parenting it's not the same it's it's you know and we like i said we might not even be the first person they come to we might be the 15th person they come to by the time they get to us that we're like oh oh now you want to ask me <laughs> you know what i'm saying but it's still you know, we still have some influence, but understand other people may have a huger influence on your child than what you could have ever imagined. And you just hope and pray that whomever else is mentoring your child has their best interest at heart. Hopefully. Let's hope. Let's hope for that. 
So I'm out of here. But let's see what Roy said. Um, and you said, but that's the thing every parent goes through. You got to let go, but you got to be supportive of their life's decisions. Absolutely. Um, and Anthony said he just had this conversation this morning. See? So we're all like going through it in our own way, right? We, we just, it's just a challenge as a parent. We want to see the best for them. But we also understand that, hey, our kids are going to make decisions. Um, some we're going to love. Some we're maybe not. We're going to cringe at. Like, ooh, I wouldn't have made that choice. But I love you anyway. Um, and Roy said we're living in a different time and a different society with more technology and more options. That wasn't there, um, not just parents, also with a younger generation. Yes, and see, uh, we are in a different time, Roy. And so, like you said, um, things are different. Um, it is a different time. But like I said, for us grown adult parents, you know, that have made our own mistakes, you know, don't, don't, don't beat yourself up too much. Even with the decisions that your kids make, even if they're not the greatest decisions or decisions you wouldn't have made, um, just give them love support them understand this is their life and just wish them well on whatever decisions they make and just just try to be their support don't be their crutch let me just get that out here don't be their crutch be their support all right so i'm out of here i hope i helped somebody today i hope you guys can share this video because there's a lot of parents out here probably scratching their head and wondering what the hell are you thinking so make sure you share this video okay it's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. That's Kep. Have a good day. Bye.